Hello and welcome! Welcome to, uh, to another video! To another video of Neptune this time. So, um, this video is all about Neptune, or I, at least I'm going to try to talk about Neptune. I promised that a while ago actually, and um, I just wanted to do some videos like I did with the Pluto and the Uranus square. So, um, in order to uh, explain Neptune in a better way. So, is this going to be a series of videos? I don't know. I don't know. I um, have to give you a very Neptune answer, I guess. So, um, it's an answer that's not clear. So, in other words, if there's only uh, going to be two videos, because I'm definitely going to make two videos today, it could be just those two. Um, but it could also mean that I'm going to make a series, who knows, you know, that's the Neptune uh, introduction, it's the Neptune answer to, um, to this point. Now, in order to explain Neptune in a very clear way, which isn't very easy, I will try to, to start from the extremes of Neptune, so I will try to explain situations, or at least one situation in the next video, and I will try to start with the extreme negative of Neptune and hopefully arrive to the extreme good about Neptune. And I think it's always like that. If we know the extremes, the both sides, the both edges of something, then we know all. That's my, at least my opinion. Now, to explain Neptune, it's um, it's a bit um, it's a planet. I have a love hate relationship with with Neptune because I really really like the good stuff. I really 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 hate uh, the negative side of Neptune. Let's start with the positive side now. What is positive about Neptune? The positive side of Neptune is definitely that there is this uh, view and connection to other worlds than this physical world with Neptune. There is spirituality, there is inspiration, there is, um, uh, there is idealism, there is uh, a knowledge of what it is to be connected with all there is. That is all very, the beautiful side of Neptune, the unconditional love um, and of course what's in a word but the thing is that if we start with the positive of Neptune it really almost gets a bit flu because a lot of people and mostly people who are very rational um, think you know all that spiritual stuff it's not really you know it's not here in this world but the thing is that Neptune can show us that we have more than just the five uh, is it five I think so the five senses so Neptune can definitely show that you um, are connected with more than just uh, yourself and the people who are around you in the physical world. You know, everybody, I think, has experiences of feeling things in advance, you know, that sixth sense um, or having connections with someone who's so far away and you know exactly how they, how they feel or even with uh, people who have passed away. So this is all very, you know, there are absolutely no boundaries. It's such a broad view. And um, it's also a, a view of hope and a view of, um, of spirituality because there is connection to all that there is. And there is this oneness going on. You don't feel separate. So that is a good feeling, of course if you can encounter Neptune in your life through positive or through easy transits like a trine or a sextile and you're encountering that Neptune in your life. But what about the other side? What about the other side of Neptune? The other side of course is um, when you are going too far with that Neptune. So Neptune in itself is not bad or good but when you go too far there are no boundaries anymore. And you can lose yourself because you lose the boundaries of yourself. Or um, another case could be that you lose boundaries with other people or you're crossing them. You are 
crossing those boundaries of other persons, of other people. So this is not a, a thing about power. It's a thing of, like Pluto, but it's a thing about you know crossing someone's uh, edges and um, walking all over them. So that's what I'm going to use, by the way, in that example of uh, uh, of the negative side of Neptune. So for a lot of people, especially who have challenging aspects with Neptune in their charts, or difficult transits or challenging transits like oppositions or squares with Neptune or even a conjunction. Um, this shows that a lot of these people will experience um, the challenging side of Neptune which is, which is confusion, which, which, is, um, which is deception, which is not seeing the real truth because uh, it, it, the truth is there and it isn't there. To show you that in another way instead of talking all the time. Um, I'm going to show you something. Just hang on. I hope I won't be too clumsy, but let's have a look here. Let's have a look at this Neptune room. I don't know if you can see it, but what this is saying is that ceci n'est pas un ici. And I don't have to translate that, do I? Now, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? But, ceci n'est pas un ici. Okay, enough of this room. This is, ceci n'est pas un accordion. You could say that as well, of course. And this is, ceci n'est pas, is this Fille de Brune? She claims to be Virle, but is, is it Virle? I don't know. I think at times words do explain a lot, but not everything. And maybe this has helped you to explain a little bit more about Neptune. Because this uh, painter, this Belgian painter who is called René Magritte, this Belgian painter, and of course with his very famous Ceci n'est pas une pipe. I think he explains Neptune quite well, doesn't he? That is surely a little piece of Neptune instead of talking about it all the time. So, up to the next video. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you keep on watching and see you in a minute.